Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'll be showing you guys how to create your own TNT Run Arena on the TNT Run Reloaded plugin created by Steve4744. So this is actually a pretty easy and simple process. So let's go hop into this. First things first, you're going to need your own TNT Run map. Um, it's pretty simple. You're just going to need to make sure it has some layers, um, has a clear defined loo zone, and um, it's pretty easy to um, define like the size of the map. Then uh, the first command you're going to run is going to be slash tr set up and then create and then you're just going to put in the name of the map. So we'll call it medieval. And uh, medieval has been created and this won't be like the spawn point or anything, that's just the name of the map. Next we're going to set the boundaries of the map using world edit. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight um, two distinct spots that will uh, cover the map. So uh, pretty much the area of fair play. So we got position one here, and let's go fly out to position two. So again, everything within here will be fair play, and um, everything in here will be regenerated after a game is completed. So we got position two highlighted here right now, and then you're going to do slash tr set up set arena then the name of the uh, map again so that's going to be medieval next you're going to set up your lose level so again um, this is going to be defined as uh, just a, um, a 2d surface so we're going to do slash tr set up oh sorry we're going to highlight the positions first so we already have this position in position one and then let's go around to the other side position two and that's going to be our lose level. So we're going to do slash tr set up set lose level, and then we uh, set the name again, uh, medieval. So again, uh, pretty much when you hit this uh, floor, you or pass through it, you um, lose the game. So again, this has to be within the boundaries of the arena and on the last floor. Next, we're going to set the spawn point, which is super easy. Uh, when we go ahead, uh, put it right here, sort of in a nice central point on the map. So slash tr setup, set spawn, medieval. Perfect, and it's uh, defined it in x, y, z coordinates. Uh, we can also set a uh, spectate point. Um, so this is where players go to when they die. So we can set it up here, as you guys can see, it's blocked off from everything else. Maybe not the best spectating area, but it's what we got. Um, for this uh, arena. So we do slash tr setup set spectate and then medieval once again. And there we go. And to finish up the arena itself, we can just do um, slash tr setup finish and then medieval once again. And to uh, ensure that you have it properly set up, you can do slash tr join, and we will be able to see medieval right here. We'll test out in a second. There's just one other thing I wanted to touch on, which are kits in the game. So kits um, can either be randomly assigned to users, or if you just have one kit per arena, then um, everyone who joins will just be assigned that uh, kit. So um, let's uh, reduce our speed. And here we can do slash tr setup once again. Uh, we'll need the map disabled. So um, let's disable medieval real quick. Yep, so we disable the map and then we can do slash tr setup add kit followed by the name. So we're not going to add in a name yet because the kit is actually defined by what items um, you have. So I'm going to go throw in some diamond armor on. So the kit includes the armor and whatever stuff you have in your inventory. So let's put in a potion of leaping, uh, just one of these, and a potion of speed um, right there. So we can put it all on. And we can just call this kit, I don't know, flash, the flashy kit. And so once we're done that, we enable kits and then we enable it for medieval. There we go. And then you can also list kits. 
So list kits is it says tier list kits. And we have two uh, kits currently available, which just include clout and flashy. You can also uh, delete kits, which instead of uh, the add kits command, you just put in delete kit, uh, followed by the kit name. So um, another thing is item slot 9 in the hotbar will always be the leave item. So we can go ahead and join, uh, let's join Medieval, which we just set up. Oh, sorry, we um, we just enabled that. I forgot about that. Set up, enable, Arena Medieval, and Arena Medieval has been enabled. Sweet. Now we can do slash tier join, and we can go ahead and join Medieval here. So before the arena starts, um, you can force vote to start the arena early if without having the amount of players needed. All this stuff is configurable in the config as well. You can view stat information. Uh, we've only played one game, one one game info. Uh, this is just information on the plugin, what version, uh, where to find it, uh, shops, and this stuff is all configurable in the config. But you can get stuff like a double jump, which is sweet, uh, splash potions, um, protection. Uh, you know, even swords to knock people out, etc. So a lot of really cool stuff and a custom balance. Or we could hit the bed here and that would just allow us to leave the game. So let's go ahead and start a game. I, I got my good buddy here and we're going to run a quick TNT run test here. Um, so, you know, we'll see how this goes. Time's ticking out. Uh, you know, let's see what uh, our buddy's up to here. He's just falling through all the floors. I win. Hey, that's sweet. So as you guys can see here, from here on out, uh, we get kicked out and the uh, arena should be regenerating on its own in a second. So yeah, GG. Um, yeah, so guys, that was it on how to make a uh, you know pretty standard TNT run uh, arena of the TNT Reloaded plugin. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.